Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Matt Dissinger here for iBass 360. I want to just go over my rod and reel setup for jerkbait fishing. First, I'm using a 6 3 to 1 gear ratio reel. This is the Apex Arden Elite. And it's paired up with the Enigma Phenom series rod. This is a 6 8, and it's good for an 8 to 15 pound line. It's a medium fast action. And why I like a 6 foot 8 or shorter is while I'm using it for jerkbait fishing, a lot of times you'll have the rod pointed down to the water and you're trying to get that bait to dive and dart. It's better if you just have that bait there and you can just move the rod straight up and down compared to side to side. Sometimes I'll have a longer rod, I'll have to go side to side just to keep the rod tip out of the water. As for line, we're using the Vicious Fluorocarbon Elite. It's an eight pound line. I also use the Vicious Monofilament. It depends on how deep I want to get the bait to run. If I wanted to get it to run deep, you know, I'm going to use the fluorocarbon. If I wanted to uh, get down and like float quicker to the surface, I'll use the monofilament. That brings us to the baits. I use the Guggen Squad Scout or the Scout Junior. The thing with these, here are, this one here I'll dive anywhere between four and six foot. Sometimes I want to get down there a little deeper. So what I'll do is I'll take a little lead wire and I'll wrap it around the middle hook. Or I will drill holes in this and add tungsten weights. And then what I'll do before I seal it up is I'll put it into a sink of water or a tub or something and I'll watch it sink. And then when it's going down to my liking, that's when I'll seal it up. Makes the bait run a little different. And that could be the difference between catching and not catching. So uh, if you get a chance to get out and do some little jerk bait fishing before it starts to ice up, give this a try and uh, hope you catch a couple fish and uh, see you next video. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.